ಸಾಗರೆ ನಂದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹ ವಿಹಿಲ ಜಯ 
This is will be first. Then you can be before. Otherwise, no. So, Bhakti Maru Thakur Hari. We should follow. If you want to be pure devotee, then you must follow. When doing kirtan, not seen here and here, or doing kirtan or not, not like this. You should try to understand the meaning and totally observe in this kirtan. Okay. Then you can gain anything. Otherwise, not. <coughs> so this song should be done like daily. Reminding our senses that we should follow. Go on. You can understand it? Yeah. Very quickly. As Srila Gurudev explained, this is a song of Sharanagati. Sharanagati is not exactly bhakti, but it is the door of bhakti. And without the six principles of bhakti, of sharanagati, no one can enter the realm of bhakti, which is ultimately service to Radha Krishna in the transcendental land of Goloka Vrindavan. Oh, you should try to promise that from today, just now, we will follow this. If you want to be devotee, and if you really don't want to be devotee, then you should not. You can, but possible. No harm. <coughs> Beginning Anakul Yasya Sankalpa Pratikul Yavivarjita. Very, very soon, I have okay. no time. So okay. Very quickly. <laughs> so, um, Chilabhati Vinod Thakur is saying, I'm offering my mind to you, my body to you, my family to you, everything to you, and who is to you? Nandikishore. And this Nandikishore is more specifically named in the last verse of the song, that is Radha Nath. He who is not or Lord is Radha. deha geha jo kichu mora arpinu tuapade nandakishore. What is the meaning? It means my mind, my body, and my family, and whatever I possess, I'm offering at your lotus feet. Oh, Nandakishore. Not by only word, but by action and truly. Not that I am giving you, but lock and give you with me. Not like this. Totally, sir, giving you. Mm. Then in the next verse, he's showing his unconditional surrender. In bad fortune or in good fortune, whether there are problems or no problems, in any condition, I'm taking shelter of your lotus feet with full faith that simply by remembering you and offering everything to you, all problems are solved automatically. Whereas if I think of my problems, then only more problems come because I make a bridge with the conception of problems. So now I don't take any more responsibility. If I have given everything to you in your lotus feet or not to... But worry for this. What should I do? What should I do? All oh, this problem, not all oh, Krishna will solve it. You should only be like dogs, or oh, making some para, like a god always. Uh, and you should be free from maintaining yourself. We are like god, dogs of Krishna. No harm. Mm. Then in the third verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, You can slay me or protect me as you like, because I am your eternal servant. Not that I want you to protect me and maintain me bodily, but whatever condition you put me in, I take that as your mercy, and I'll serve you with whatever I have. Understanding the meaning? What Bhaktivinoda Thakur is telling whether you are looking after me or not, whether I am happy or unhappy, in all circumstances, I am yours. 
Now it is your <coughs> job to look after me or not. But I have given to you everything. So don't, I never worry. If death is coming, problems are coming, I have nothing. I will be like dog, always sitting on your doors. If you are giving some remnants like dogs, oh, I will take, otherwise I will wait for that. I will only chant and remember. This is Sharanayati. Whether you are giving me good things, or you are giving me so many things, problems, no harm, now I am happy. I have given everything to you. Yeah. I have given everything to you means including my mind. So my mind will never be on what you give me or don't give me, because my mind is in you, in your instructions, in your prayers, in your pastimes. And I'm also not asking you for liberation. In the next verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, If I have to be born again, then I beg you that I can be born in the house of your devotee. In one other prayer, which is Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's commentary on Lord Chaitanya Shastastakam, he said, you can make me a bird or a beast. Whatever I have to become from my sinful reactions, it doesn't matter. Still, I only want you, even if you put me in those lower conditions of life. I'm not asking you for any material condition, only that I want association of your devotees. He says, not only do I want to take birth as your devotee, but it doesn't, in the house of your devotee, but it doesn't even matter how I'm taking birth in the house of your devotee. That is, even if I'm taking birth as a worm in the house of your devotee, even that's satisfactory to me as long as I can think of you. But if I take birth as any Lord Brahma in any universe, if that Lord Brahma is adverse to you, even though he controls the whole universe, I don't want that kind of birth. Then he says, I only have one desire, that I can get the association of those devotees or any pure devotee of yours who is free from any material desire and who only wants to be with you in a relationship with you. And you are my every relation. Ultimately, we have a relationship with Krishna in the spiritual world in a specific way. But as Srila Gurudev said, Sharanagati begins from the beginning of bhakti. Therefore, here in this world, Krishna is my everything. Krishna, you are my father, you are my son, you are my beloved, you are my friend, you are my supporter, you are my lord, your protector. I don't know anything that you're not to me. You're everything to me. So I don't, I'm not dependent on any other father, on any other son, on any other relationship. So this is the beginning, and then ultimately, Krishna and we have a specific relationship in the spiritual world, and all other relationships come from that relationship. So he's concluding that, O oh, Radhanath, means, O oh, you who are the, who's not, whose Lord is Radharani, who are subservient to Radharani, and this is the mood of all Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas, and Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is Rupanuga Varayate. He's the greatest of all Gaudiya Vaishnavas and servants of Srila Rupa Goswami, who prefer to see Krishna serving Srimati Radharani. So he says, O oh, Radhanath, you are my entire life and soul. I have no independent life, but only you. So, I know I'm hearing so many from the mouth of devotees. Oh, there are so many problems. My wife has left me. Now my children are like orphan. So many problems. Some lady devotees coming, oh, very big problem. My husband has left me. I have nothing to do. What should I do? Can you help? So many problems, so many problems. They try to this, do this, that, but everywhere fell. Everywhere fell. Because the root of all these problems is that you are not Saranagar. You 
you have no relation with Krishna and you have no trust in Krishna, no belief in Krishna and his name. That is all problems coming. Krishna has not advised you that, oh, you are Brahmachari for 13, 14, 20 years in mud of Swamiji, your Prabhupada. He was so merciful and he engaged. Has he told that you should go and marry? Krishna has advised you that make a boyfriend or girlfriend. Has he told? Who brought all these problems? <laughs> Myself. Yourself only. You made problems all. If you are like this, always serving Krishna and depending on Krishna. Any problem cannot come. Can any problem come for Sukhdev Goswami? Any problem for Nad Goswami? Always depending on Krishna. So anyone, we are also dependent on Krishna. That is why no problem at all. To whom we touch, problems go. What is the meaning of touching? <coughs> if you want to touch, then you should try to follow from today. That Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. He has created the whole body and he is supporting nursing whole. Then why can it support you and nourish you? Why problems? It is that you are making all problems. You are the root cause of all problems. Krishna wants to take you out of problems, but you are making it. Hmm? There was one nation, then you were not satisfied, again two daughters, one son, again more, and they, they become some mature, they were, and they were deadly against you, with you and you, her mother. Making so many problems now. So, for this you should be Sharanagata. Name is more merciful than Krishna, you should know. More, more, more merciful. Krishna had invested his all mercy, power, affluence, everything, his mercy in Krishna's name, but you are neglecting. Hmm? You are depending on your own job and making some money. And this making money, making more problems. Problems after problems after problems. You can realize all this. Because Shastra has told all these things. You cannot be happy by this, solving all these problems. Only one problem is in the root of all, but you have forgotten Krishna. You are neglecting Krishna. Krishna name. Especially Krishna name in this Kali Yuga. Chant like Haridas Thakur. And you will see that Lakshmi will come and follow you. Oh, how can I serve you? Have you this faith? We have this faith. And that is why oh, Lakshmi is always with us. <laughs> but we told that, wait a little, I have no service. Please be very far away. <laughs> we also fear from the shadow of Lakshmi Devi. What to tell Lakshmi Devi? You should be like that. And we should, you will see, oh, very, very good, very good. No problem at all, no problem at all. Krishna will quickly solve all the problems. Hmm? Huh. You should. Yeah. Very quickly. Have you not decided yet? Oh, decided first, then go and very quickly, very quickly. No time. More, 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 love, love. All with heart.
Hare Krishna. This morning, uh, the devotees have received Haridam initiation and Diksha Mantras. So, today is a very auspicious day for all of you. Please, we request you to stand up and Sri Gurudev will announce your new spiritual name. Good hope. What is good hope? Very good now. Gaur Hari. Gaur Hari Prabhu. Sri Dham Prabhu, please stand up. Where is he? He's not here. Ah, what name? Or Samnam. Sridam Prabhu Ki. Pradyumna Misra Prabhu, please stand up. What name? Oh, Pradyumna Das, very good name. Pradyumna Das Prabhu Ki. Premanidhi Dasi. Samnam. Premananda Dasi Ki. Premanidhi. Premanidhi. An ocean of Prem. Nityananda Prabhu. Please stand up. Oh, good name. Nityananda Das Prabhu. Ki. Nityananda Das Ki. Try to follow Nityananda Prabhu. Ekaras Das. Please stand up. Ekaras. Eknath. Before it was Ekaras, now you give Ekaras. Oh, Eknath Das Prabhu Ki Jai. Oh, only one Nath. Only one Lord. Who is? Radhika or Krishna. If you can accept Radhika very high thing, but even not you can you, know, you can think that Krishna is not yours. Only one. Then Bernadette. Hatch Hatching song. Oh Vidya Dari Dashi ki. Those who are expert in all kinds of arts and learning and they can serve Krishna, uh, especially in Govardhan. They are Vidyadhari. Vidyadhari Dashi ki. Yeah. Hare Krishna Das. Good name. Hare Krishna Das Prabhu ki. Yeah. Bhakta Mark. Oh, Mahanidhi Prabhu Ki Jai. Nilambari, Nilambari Dasi. Good name, Nilambari Dasi Ki Jai. Who is Nilambari? Who is always taking his all, uh, her all garments like the color of Krishna. So Srimati Radhika is Nilambari. She is Dasi of that Nilambari. Nilambari Dasi ki... Jai Sri Dasi. She's in the play. Oh, she's in the play. Jai Sri Dasi ki... Amma Krishna Das. I have given him this name, Amal Krishna. Das ki... You should come and hear in class. Why is so far away? I want that you should listen very patiently, very carefully, what I am telling you. Also, Ramananda Rao Ramananda should sit any, any place. My hearty blessing to Raya Ramananda and his wife. Uh, Jagdish Prabhu, please stand up. Shamsundar. Now Shamsundar. Oh, very good name. Shamsundar Das Prabhu Ki.
Yes, sir. Now your initiation has been given to serve Krishna. You have been in, in, uh, admitted in the class of initiation. You have not received the uh, initiation. Try to understand. You have been admit, admitted in the class of association. Diksha means the Dibhyagan, transcendental knowledge. You have not received. But you should try to have transcendental knowledge for your Guru from other devotees. No? You have come in the process, but actually not Diksha. Hmm? Only fire sacrifice will not give Diksha. You should follow and practice like this. And Cha, Cha means, oh, like a skalan, like washing. All bad your activities, bad practices, unwanted things, anartha, sinful activities, are washed by this process. But it's still not washed. We have come in this process. So try to follow all these things, then you will have diksha. I know so many disciples, they take initiation from Guru, they are bona fide Guru, they then why they go down? Actually they don't try to follow the processes. They think that we have received the diksha, but actually that is not diksha, external diksha. Try to have real internal diksha and it may take some day, some years for this, for transcendental knowledge. And if you are not taking all this, then, then you will be weak. Bim Brahmachari for 10, 20, 15 years, and you will again go to, again, same mice. Puro Masika, you know this mice? Mouse. Mouse. Don't be mouse. Try to go up. So, this is, Admitting in class, like you are all in this class. Don't think that we have awfully initiated. You are still in class, and when it will be perfect, oh, then very good devotee. Then no fear to fall and to, to be weak. So try to follow all these things. Now you are giving. We are giving class for diksha that you should follow all these things. <coughs> Ajnana timirandhasya Jnanan jana salakya Chakshurun militang jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Vancha kalpatarubhyasya Kripa sindho bhaevacha Patitanam Pamanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratishe Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhikaya Itadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tada Bhakta Yanam Yang Prabhrajanta Manupetam Apet Krityam Dvaipayano Virahaka Tarya Juhava Putre Titan Maitaya Tarvo Vinedu Tang Sarvabho Taridayam Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Tvayavina Iti bhikkai radhe tang nai maam chai Bhaktya vihina ya parada lakshai Chitva shukama di taram Kripa bhaing tvang saranam prapanna Vrinde namaste
Шо Шримад Бхагаватам, Дашамешканда, 38 чаптер. Now Krishna has finished his past time sin brother. When he killed Keshi and Bhamashur, Narad came and prayed. That is, you should remember that you will have to do so many things. Now we are very much charmed in Bindavan Lila, past times. And you have forgotten that your Mathura father and mother are in the jail of Kans. And Kans is what, making so much nonsense and problems, always insulting, crushing with his boats. And after that, you know that you have promised to marry with 16,108 devotees in Dwarka. You will have to save and protect Pandavas also. They are big problem and they are oh Saranagat to you. Durjodhaj is making so many problems, problems and problems. He has taken his kingdom. They have been driven to forest. So, also you will have to. Oh, you have promised that you will have to um, finish all the demons. There are so many demons now. Those who were killed in Ramlila in Lanka, all have come like Kshatriya kings. And they are so much burden to this earth. Also, there are so many things. So, you should remember this. Only not be involved in Vrindavan. Krishna told, oh, you have remembered, remind me, and now you can do it. Everything will go up. Then Krishna decided something. Here, one day, he was in Prem Sarovar between Nandagao and Varsana. Do you remember Prem Sarovar? One day Radha and Krishna, with all the gopis, they were sitting on the bank of very beautiful Prem Sarovar. Oh, the scenery was so high class of beautiful. All kinds of flowers were in bosom. And cuckoo birds were singing. So many peacocks dancing there. Surrounding by, by lakhs and lakhs calm denu cows. And there, in their council, Lalita Abhishaka, all the Ashtra Sakhi, especially Nandi Mukhi, Brinda Devi, Dhanishta, and so many prominent Sakhis were there. Srimati Radhika was in the lap of Krishna, being like one Krishna has given his hands and Radhika also like that. And a bamboo became. And he thought that the lotus feet of Radhika is actually a lotus, very fragrant feet. <coughs> and he was coming to test some honey from that lotus. And he was doing hmm, hemming and wanted to enter in that lotus. Radhika feared. So soft, so feared, and we like this, this. 
Madhmangal at once came from anywhere with a bamboo stick. And he was doing like this and he drove away that bamboo is very far away and he returned and told, I have driven this bamboo, um, Madhusudan and he will never come again. So don't fear. And hearing Srimati Radhika, hmm, the name of Madhusudan, Madhusudan has so many meanings. One name of Krishna. Why Madhusudan? The love of gopis are Madhu like honey and Krishna te testing it. So it is Madhusudan. Another meaning of Madhusudan is that Madhu, worldly desires, attachment to all these things. The lust of wife, husband, children and all like this. This is like honey. But Krishna can cut off all these. So he is Madhusudan. Sudan means to cut away. If he will do Madhusudan, Madhusudan, he will cut all things, all bad desire, attachment. So he is Madhusudan. And he always takes and tests the honey of the gopis, love and affection. So he is Madhusudan. Also so many meanings, but prominent too. So, Madhumangal came and told that, oh, I have driven out this Madhusudan for ever. He will not, never return. And just um, Srimati Radhika heard this and became unhappy. And he thought, ah, Madhusudan has gone. He was in the lap of Krishna. But now he was so much weeping. Where Krishna and Madhusudan has gone. He will never come. Then how can I be? Then I will die. Without Madhusudan I cannot live. And she forget herself. And she forget that I am in the lap of Krishna. And weeping and weeping and she, she becomes senseless, totally. Krishna saw that is strange She is in my life and she has forgotten everything. What is this? Premaj Vaichitya and more than this, Dibyonmad and more this, Madan Mood. In meeting, she feels separation. It is only for Radhika, not for anyone, even not for Lalita Vishakha. What to tell, tell Chandra Bali? Highest class of. In meeting, separation also, fullest separation. And fullest meeting, but forgetting everything, very high class. Krishna is saying, that if Srimati Radhika is nearer to me, oh, that where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? For future separation, she becomes senseless. I cannot help. But if I am not here, then going deep in separation mood, and she remembers and see that, oh, this tamal is Krishna. Not thinking that's, that's this tamal, but we are thinking like tamal. But she used to think that, oh, Krishna is here. He makes his dresses very, takes Sringa and speaks with him. Oh, where you are. And then he does man to Krishna, even in man, uh, in separation also man. Very astral. And now she is weeping. So what to do? How to console? I cannot console. This is a very big problem for me. Whenever I come and be with Radhika, for future separation she becomes like so. I cannot help. And if I am not here, then feeling some separation and he goes in deep in separation and he sees that, oh, clouds are there. Then, oh, oh, clouds, like, oh, Krishna, don't come to me. Or clouds. No? So she struggles with her, what, bread, that they are black. 
So always like this. In separation something. She can sleep. She can do anything. Some happiness. But in meeting, always so much high class of separation mood. So Krishna is thinking what to do. So I must be some far away. Otherwise, they will be always unhappy. That is why he is thinking. Oh, I should be some far away. To give some relief to them. And if I am here, always they will feel separation. Always weeping, always senseless, always this thing. That is his thought. That I should be out of pressure. Otherwise I cannot help them. There will be more, more, more feeling separation. You cannot realize these things. Only you should hear something. You can hear something. So, Krishna decided that I should come in dream. I should come in manifestation. Like in other way I should come, but not directly. If I will directly come, then they will be unhappy. Their stage is so high of Madan and Modan, more than Narudha Devu. So, to pacify gopis, he decided this, that I should be fire. And that is why he is not again coming. If coming, then how it becomes? If any, there is cut, and if you are giving some lemon on this cutting, how would it become? Oh. If you practice love and affection like this, in high class of issues, you can realize something. Something. And then, you will so be attached in past times of Krishna, you will realize, and then nothing this to this worldly thing. Nothing. No problem at all. Always happy. And when you um, see Srimad Bhagavatam, any of you will sing so deep. So now, Krishna is thinking, I will have to make something. If I am here, then I am giving so much. Problem for gopis. They will be unhappy more. So he was thinking how. In the meantime, Kans was thinking how to kill Krishna and Baldev. He made so many what? Plans. Plan. But all plans were in hell. And they were killed. At last it called Akrur. Akrur was his like uncle. And he told that, Oh, you are a qualified person. I know that you have so much attachment to me. And you have also some relation to Krishna and Baldev. So I think that you should help me. I am going to arrange an arena here near Rangeshwar temple. And there we will make so many interesting uh, wrestling and, and all so many things. And then Krishna Baldev will come and will sound him. And all we will kill him, Krishna. So go at once. Akur was Parambhakta. He has faith in Krishna that Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. He has come to kill Kansa and all demons. He became very happy. I must go there and I will see Krishna. Will he remember me like any servant? Then I will be so fortunate. And thinking that anyhow, Kansa has given me fortune to go to Krishna. I will take the son of Krishna and I will pray something. And that he, I, he went there. But uh, what is in the root of all these things? Krishna wish. Eh? 
Yogamaya came and gave this thought fair in the mind of Kans and also in Kakru. So Krishna plan was there. Now he is making something, arrangement to go some far away from Vrindavan to pacify gopis. Then Akru came in a golden chariot. Krishna, uh, Kans gave, gave him his own chariot. Here, Vasudev Devaki and Maharaj Ukrashan were put in jail. Very thick chain they were bending so that they can, and very strong cords. And he went there, that when Krishna will be, will come here and Baldev, oh, we will call all devotees also, Nanda, Vasudev, Devaki, Rugrishan, and in front of them we will kill Krishna. They will see that I am conscious, I can kill. And then they will feel separation and they will be killed themselves. So planning this, Akru went there and he met with Krishna and Baldev. In the way he saw the footprints of Krishna. If you have gone to Nandagaon, there is a Charan Pahari, still having the footprints of Krishna. Very beautiful. He saw that lakhs and lakhs footprints were in the dust of Braja near Nandagaon. Krishna always going with covert. Empty feet and she had fell down on the lotus feet of Krishna. And he was praying, his heart was melting, tears come, coming, hair standing. And he prayed so many things. It is written in Srimad Bhagavad. What was idea? He was very high class of Krishna, of Dasya Rasa. Then he met with Krishna and Baldev and told secretly, Do you know that you are son of Devaki and Vasudev? Now they are in jail and this demon Kans is torturing them. Only for you, only for you, no reason other. That they had ex send you to go through. And that is why they are torturing. Then they became furious. Oh, for me, I must go there. And then returned back. So he made up his mind. And he told to Father, Nanda Baba, Nanda Baba agreed. There were some arguments, logics, that Krishna sh should go there. Otherwise, Kans will be tortured to also to Nanda and Yasuda and all Vajabhasi. So by fear they were agreed. In the meantime in the morning, in the evening, same evening, it was declared everywhere on drum that tomorrow Nand Baba and other gops with some friends of Krishna they will take Baldev and Krishna. They will go to Mathura and there they will see uh, the arena, the fighting of wrestling things. And then they will return back. It was all were like happy, like friends were happy that we are also going and we will see new, new, new things. Nandwava, oh, he was not in fear because I am going with Krishna and Baldev and I will bring them. All the gods were like this. They were not lamenting or feeling separation. Yashoda Maya, Nandwava told that you should be or, without any Fear, what? Nirbhaya ka kya hota hangreji? That you bhi nahi hota. 
for your appropriate work. You should be nirbhaya. Don't fear. Oh, I'm going and I will again bring them. Nothing to fear. Yasoda thought that oh, he is going with them. So he may they may return. But gopis, who gopis? The beloved of Krishna. They were thinking in, in other mood. They were abusing Brahma, Brahma, creator. What they are telling? He is very cruel. Krishna is so sweet. And anyhow, this creator made a chance to meet Krishna. And just we are going to meet. But he is so cruel that he took that what, fortune. And again he made separation. At once we are going to taste that sweet sweetness. But at once he took away. He is not qualified to make this world. All the beauties of the whole world, three worlds, he took and made the beautiful body of Krishna. So how looking? Everything so, three folded, some holes in here, no? beautiful holes, <coughs> smiling so beautiful like arrows. His everything is crooked. His words are also sweet, having sweetness crooked. He is looking crooked. It penetrates in the hearts of those who are looking out. So we have chance. But this cruel creator, oh, like a, a baby boy, they make from dhul se, just any fence. Like, oh, this is my Raj Palace, Royal Palace. And again they destroy. So Brahma is like that. He gets chance to meet Krishna. He gave all the sweetness and beauties of whole three world in Krishna. But at once when we made and at once he quickly take this fortune. So he is very cruel, very cruel. Hmm? Oh, this cruel has come here in shape that Vidhata. Who Vidata, who created this beauty and get this chance. Now he has come in the shape of he is actually cruel, cruel means cruel. But he has taken the name of a cruel, that I am not cruel. But actually very cruel. They are weeping, not hearing that we are laughing now, but now that. They are telling all these things from their heart, feeling separation. Oh, he has come here and we were testing, we are going to test like if any dish, very beautiful, testful dish comes and we were going to take it. But in the meantime, anyone came and took, monkeys from Vindavan came took at once and went on tree and you are looking, what happened? <laughs> so this cruel, Nishthura Akru came and he took Krishna or beloved. How can we live? We can leave. We cannot leave. They became like a fish out of water. Are you in this state? We are not. So Krishna is very far away. From then, Krishna is there, always with me. Try to be in this stress. This is our object. How you can be? If you are dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing your attachment to Krishna to worldly wives, 
son, daughters, and all these things, how you can do? Krishna gave you only alone your birth. You came in this world. And Krishna told in the womb of your mother, be alone. I'm giving this birth only for what? Practicing bhakti yoga. Don't make any friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, mother, anything. Be, become, try to become like Bharat in third birth. Hmm? But we promise there that we will. We will never be doing. But when we came, oh, sister took me in her life. And oh, baby, 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 baby. And he, and he made a sister. He made a mother, he made a father, he made a others, oh, whole community, never, oh, mother, sister, father. And then he gradually became in young age and he met one, two, three, four, five, six girlfriends <laughs> or boyfriends. Krishna is reminding something, coming in the shape of Guru Vaishnav, warning, giving. But, oh, I'm doing, after this, I will not do this, this. I will give up all these things. <laughs> this is our life. Again, some vibes come. Try to realize this. And when you will die, you will die alone. Alone. To whom you have given so many, th your whole energy, they will not remember you for a moment. They cannot help you. You must know all this. Gopira telling these things. They are very expert. They never divided his, their love and affection to anyone in this world. They took from husband, um, sisters, brothers, fathers, every gradually they took. If you want to love Krishna, gradually you will have to be. And if you are not doing, then at the time of death you will be kept, kicked like donkeys from behind legs. Eh? And you will be burnt into ashes. Surely you should know that anyone cannot help. Only Krishna can help his mother. So you should try to realize all these things. This is association. Take something from this association and return with so many things. Take some love and affection from this association. This will help you. So gopis are telling you. This is Srimad Bhagavatam. So many things more we will give you. So many gopis. <laughs> then gopis are telling like this. Oh, now they blame first to Vidhata, to Creator. And then who? That Creator came in this shape of? Oh, now they are blaming to Krishna. Oh, there is no blame of Vidhata or Akrur. Oh, Krishna is always, always hmm? Navasanga Priya. Navasanga Priya Manaki. New, 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 new. He is never satisfied with old man. Like a bumblebee, he goes to any very beautiful lotus and taking the sweetness again goes to another. To another, another. Sometimes he becomes mad that. And if, even to bad flowers, smelling flowers, there is no mother other that he can see. Oh, because this is new. So Krishna is like this. His blacklist also like that. He never satisfied with, oh, old one. So he now wants once to test some new thing. That is why Krishna, this is the, this is the motive of Krishna that is he is leaving us and he is going to Mathura. And he will be very happy. Now he is with us. We are only the girls of village. Not so beautiful. We cannot uh, attract anyone. Uh, like uh, what I should tell. Uh, with a bell like this. So many sweet words with some shame, very attractive. They can pose very beautifully all these things. But we are not like that. 
we cannot play like them. So they are very expert they, because they are in tones. And they can make what? Make up so much. They can decorate their host with lipsticks and so many things. But we cannot, we don't know all, all these arts. Then when Krishna will go and they will do like this, Krishna will be so much attached. And there are not only one, two, three, four, lakhs and lakhs. He will have a love to this, to that, to that, to that, to that, to that. And he will be engaged and he will never return. We know. And they began to lament so much. We know the habit of Krishna. He is going. But we are fear that he will never return. Oh, this night, after this night, very beautiful, Suprabhat will come. What? Good morning will come. All the ladies and all the persons, Jadav, Vaishni, Bhoj, all, will be very happy. And they will tell that good morning, good morning. Because they will have, they will see the face of Krishna, beautiful Krishna. Kya ho gaya? So, uh, what? Very best. Morning for Mathura Basi. All will have chance to see all the beautiful essence of the whole world, all beauties. And they will see Krishna. And Krishna will talk with them. He will attach to them. And for us, Today night is like call jump. Like that. Like that. Tomorrow in morning we cannot see Krishna. How dangerous. Then all we will die. All the birds and peacocks and all animals will die. All the cows, what will be of the cows? They will not graze. They will only see towards Krishna. They will also die. Then what will this Vrindavan? It, it will be a barren land. So, a cruise is very cruel. In Mathura there will be daily so Mahatsa, always Mahatsa. And in Vrindavan? No, nothing. It will be barren land. Now, we are wondering, we are astonished that there are so many old person here. They are think to be very intelligent like Upananda and all others, the brothers of Nanda Baba and others, so many old person. But we now thinking that they are not intelligent. Why they are not stopping Nanda? Not to take Krishna and Baldev to, to there. And send a crew alone. Krishna should be sent. But not they are telling anything. They are accepting this proposal of Nanda Baba and accrue. Hmm? Then what to do? Then we'll have to be out of sin. We will, ourselves, we will go and tell Nanda Baba and Jasoda Maya, you are so cruel. Don't send this, this Krishna to with cruel. Krishna will never return, I mean, no. We will try it. Let us go and tell to Jasoda Maya and others. In the meantime, it became morning. And Akru did his Sandhya. And then he brought that very chariot. And he began to, to go on that chariot, taking Krishna and Baldev. Gopi Var, they at once came and they checked the chariot. They became some of them. Sri Mati Radhika Singh, very far away, she became senseless. And other gopis who have some senses, they came and they took the rain, rain of horses, lamenting. Some fell down. Rolling down there on the front of chariot and somewhere beating. Hmm? 
Akrur was so cruel that anyhow he wanted to take Krishna to Mathura. And Krishna something, some admission has given. So Krishna told to all the gopis who were in sense by his eyes, I will come. Very soon. I'm going, I will kill Kans today or tomorrow and then I must return. He promised there with a Dautakai. What is Daut? Light messenger. What was messenger? The eyes. And he told to someone gopis who were in senses. Oh, tell this message to all gopis, especially to Radha who is not in sense. That day after tomorrow I must return. And quickly, anyhow, Akru. What? He kept some stake on the horses and in crooked way and went. And all gopis were in fan. Those who were not fan, they were seeing the dust of him. And also dust waves came. They never returned to Nandavao. They were in forest. When Akru came, he met them. Very pathetic scene began. Uddhav and came. Then Krishna, all were gopis, were only thinking that we should die, but we should not die. Why? If Krishna will return, because he has told that I will return, so it is certainly that if Krishna has done promise, he must come. We have faith on his words. So he will come. And when he will come, and if he were dying, then he will see that, oh, all gopis have died, then he will die. So we must not die. We should tolerate any kind of eh, separation, any kind of fire. We are burning in fire, even separation fire. But we will have to keep our life. Only for Krishna. Only for Krishna. That Krishna will come and see. So gopis, one day, two days, three days, four days, one year, two year, three year, four year, five, ten, fifty. But Krishna never Why? Sometimes Krishna may come in the shape of bumblebee. Sometimes in this way. Sometimes in dream. Sometimes in any manifestation. He comes and sees gopis and they think that, oh, we are seeing Krishna in dream. Actually, he had not come. Sometimes they become so deep in love, they never think that Krishna has gone to Mathura. Krishna is here. He has gone to cow grazing. And in the time of uh, evening, Jasoda taxis, at the plate, everything ready, that Krishna is coming, Baldev is coming. But whole light she may stand there, Krishna never comes. Now no cooking, nothing. Now no bird singing. What is the condition of Brazil you can imagine? I may tell a worldly story. I was in Italy, where? In the ocean bib. Eh? Ocean. Oh, we were in car, oh, four, five persons finally. Three. Oh, when I walked and I was coming, oh, our car was there. A very beautiful old dog came there. His eyes were full of mud and some weeping shines were there. And I saw that he at once came to us and he 
smell. And then he was looking very pathetically to us. I looked to that. And when another car came and stopped, he went there. And he was looking. And again sad. I told to them that uh, it seems that this dog was uh, formerly to any good person. And he was very, like Ossetian dog, very good dog. Hmm? I asked them, oh, why he is uh, waiting for all the cars they are coming? Hmm? They told that this dog belongs to and a rich person. And for several years he was with him. His master used to keep him in his car and going and giving what, always having so much love and affection for God. So, so many years went on. And he was so much happy there, always serving his master with God. After some time, he became to be old, and one day he came to that beach, and he saw any beach, beach, when a dog, sea dog, and he came from the car, and he went to that with that car, and also now he was old. The master thought that I will have to take a new one, and what I will do of this? She left him and quickly started his motor and went to his, room, his house. Never had cared for that. He neglected for that. Now dog, after some time he returned and he was looking after his master. Where my master? Where master? Searching in all cars here and there. No taking anything. Always searching in master. Whenever any car passes, he goes there. And it became like one year, two years, but his master never returned. And he's dead, looking out, always, always. There is none to wash his mud's tears, not to give anything. And he was always weeping for his master, saying that, oh, my master must come. And that is his living. That one day, today my master will come, waiting me. If a dog can do like this, his master may be cruel, but Krishna may not be cruel. If dog is remembering his master, how? That he will come, just now come, oh, perhaps he is coming, and he goes and see that, oh, this is my not master. Then he becomes to weep and becomes sad. And he sits and again with hope he's waiting for. If a dog can do, why we cannot do? This is the, like some shadow of comparison to Gopis. Why Gopis are lamenting? This dog may Remember that one day my master took me in his lap and he was saying with hands and giving the sweet thing what he was going to take and he was giving me. Sometimes he used to take me in, my, in his bedding, bed also. Always so perceptive. Remembering this and his weeping. So a devotee can be like this. Always remembering the past. So Gopi, always remembering the past times of Krishna. How Krishna was dancing with me. How Krishna, he hmm, used to give his battle nut in our mouths. How we, he loved us. Sometimes, uh, dancing and singing with Gopis. Oh, I can sing in fifth tune, but Gopis, and seventh, oh, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And he used to praise us. But now who will praise? Remembering and praising you. This is Ashtakali Yadi Dalai. 
devout. Can remember all these things. And then mind will not go here and there. Krishna is telling that you should remember. Gopis are laughing to Krishna. Very sad. Oh, we want to forget you. But we cannot forget. All remembrance gone. Like what? Like a chain coming. And we want to forget you. If you can forget us, why we cannot forget? But this is the thing that we cannot forget. So go for implementation. Something like this, but not. This is perhaps a shadow of shadow of shadow, what I told. So gopis are thinking like this. And they are only uh, living there. They are keeping their lives. Only why? That Krishna has told that he will come. This only asha. Oh, only this. Otherwise, they will come. They will die. But Krishna will also die in their, his separation, their separation. So they are keeping anyhow they are they are burning in separation fire, but yet they don't want to, to die. And what Krishna? Krishna is happy there? Not happy there. Anyhow, Lalita can pacify Srimati Radhika. Don't be Krishna, but surely come. But there is none to pacify Krishna that gopis will come. There is none friend like this in whole Mathura. So Krishna is alone. He is burning so much in, in separation fire. There is none to say. But here, Yogmaya, Purnima, Vrinda, Lalita, Vishakha, all are here. And they can separate their some separation more to each other. But in Mathura, that is why Krishna was doing. He wanted to send one. He went to school. Why school? Krishna and Baldev were son of Jasoda and They cannot forget this thing. They came to Mathura. And when Kams was killed, then Nand Baba was waiting outside of the town that why Krishna and Baldev are not coming? Kansa has been killed. Oh, something, perhaps it is the Sarjantra, conspiration of Jyadav. Willingly they are not allowing Krishna and Baldev to come to me. Hmm? After two days, he never took anything. He was fasting for Krishna, telling so much separation. And Krishna and Baldev came in the night, hmm, after sunset. The seat sat on the left and right side of Nanda Baba. Nanda Baba is waiting so much. Krishna and Baldev saw that father is waiting. Why? Nanda Baba told that, Oh, you have come to Mathura and you have forget me? Now you have perhaps had the new father and mother, they also become to be. No father. You are only our father. But all here, all Jadavas, like Akrur, Uddhav, Ograshen, all Devaki, Vasudev, they are telling that you are son of Devaki and Vasudev. And they demand, they don't want that I should come to you. If they, they are fearing that if we are coming to you, then we will never return to Devaki and Vasudev. And you will take me to Vrindavan. They are fearing. That is that they are not allowing to come. Then he told that, do you think that you are son of Vasudev and Devaki? Oh Krishna, I never, I can do. In dream even, Baldev Prabhu told that, I can never dream like this. Hmm? You are my father. Yasoda is my mother, Rohini is my mother there in Vrindavan. Hmm? I know someone tell that you are son of Devaki and Vasudeva. Hmm? 
it may be. But they have forgiven me for, from childhood. They never gave me a drop of milk, no love and affection to me. And I was separated from them. And you and Yashoda Maya has nourished me, given milk. So you are my father and mother, everything. I cannot think that he is my father. So I must come with you, with Krishna to Vrindavan. Nand Baba told that now what should you do? Now you are so intelligent both. I think that I must go to Vrindavan and you should come to me. But this Prabhu may be here. Why? Because the son of Devakis, and six has been killed by Kans. So Deki has only one son, like Baldev. So if you are coming, then they may both die. I think it will be better that Krishna should alone come with you than Baldev Prabhu told. I cannot live alone. I must die. Don't separate from me. I will come with Krishna. Without Krishna, I cannot live a moment. Then Krishna told that, Father, listen to me. It will be better that for two, three days I should be with Baldev. And Baldev will be here. And after two, three days, all will be pacified. And then I should return. Then he become worried. <coughs> but there was no other way. So he thinking, if I am taking Krishna with me, then Baldev will come. And if Baldev is coming, they will all die. Then I will be like a butcher. <coughs> all will tell that Ananda Baba is very cruel. What to them? He became in dilemma. Krishna told that, oh, don't be. Don't worry. I will come very soon. And all will be pacified. So, you should go. And he took so many ornaments, golden and so many garments, silken and everything. And he tightened in the, the chadar of Nanda Baba. And he was there. Oh, if I will take it all, then mother will, uh, the mother of Krishna will tell, I, you have sold Krishna with these garments and ornaments. And you have come, come empty. How I can show my face to in Brazil? But he cannot refuse that I cannot take because Krishna is giving. Anyhow, in the evening, nights, he anyhow returned. But what became of Jasoda? When he saw, oh, he became blind. He became so angry. And he told that you have sold my son and you have brought these uh, ornaments and garments. And by this we will be happy. And he slept on the bed, never came from bed, weeping, weeping. So, very pathetic was in Vrindavan. One day Jasoda Devi, in evening, in midday, in the month of hot day, now like these days in India, church mass. Yasoda was taking some garments of Krishna, baby Krishna, his little float, his some marble coughs and playing instruments he was taking in a cloth and he was going anywhere. Any gopi can. Mother Jasoda, where you are going? Jasoda was like a dumb. He was not in a stage to answer, but even to. I'm going to my, my child. Where your child? No. I've heard that he is in Mathura. So I must go. I will not tell that Krishna is my son. I will go to Devaki Rani. Rani, you know? Please. Please. I will tell that I want to be your dashi, your mesa. I will 
clean you, your vessels. Everything like that. I will not take anything. Only in a day I can see face of your child. And I will be satisfied. So telling this, and he became, when he came to on the door, and he became totally painted. So like this, daily, Jasoda was feeling so much separation that you cannot manage it. And what became of Krishna? Oh, all the Jadubansi and Akrur and all other. They had a meeting and they decided that we should change the mind of Krishna. How? We should give him threat. And we should make in his mind that Devaki and Vasudev is your father and you are Jado. And he should be in that. And he should be sent to Gurukul to learn. And in the meantime, he will forget. Because he is like a baby of 10 years or 12 years. He can forget. So made a click. And that there was going to be sacred threat to Krishna and Baldev. They were? Same. Oh, very beautiful. And then this kind of clothes were given to them. And then Gayatri Mantra was given to them, sacred thread and sandal oat, oats, sandal. Very beautiful like Brahmachari. If Krishna and Baldev are Brahmachari, how beautiful they will. So all very charming and beautiful. Then Gurudev had get this, then he told that, oh, he ordered that you should now go to five, at least five or ten, houses and you can bake some bhiksha for me. Hmm? Oh mother, give me some donation. Oh mother, give. Oh father, give me like this. And they, then Gargachaj made his chadar like this, a jholi. Hmm? And the Brahmachari took jholi and done also. Like today, you use done. Very beautiful danda also. Krishna was given crooked some danda and Balde Prabhu very thick and straight and they were. Now Gurudev told that you should go to your mother and father first and take beg beg begging and then to others. Now Krishna is thinking. He closed his eyes. Oh, my Gurudev had told to go to mother. But where is mother? Where is mother? No mother. My mother is where? Hmm? She is in Vrindavan, Nandagaon. Hmm? And he remembered that his mother has promised, Oh Krishna Baldev, when you will be given sacred thread Brahmachari and given mantra, then I will fulfill your jholi begging. Wow. Oh, with diamonds and so many, gold and everything. So Krishna was remembering. Eh? Where is my mother? Where? Oh, mother, oh, mother, he became too short. And in front of all, Devaki and Vasudeva especially were ready to give some all. But they are not telling mother, mother and father to them. They are remembering Krishna to Yasoda. Mother, mother, mother. And he, both, especially Krishna, and he was rolling down on the earth. This was the situation of Krishna, feeling so much separation, but there was no way because he has to do so many pastimes. So from here begins pathetic scene, even in Mathura, even in Gaur Pramananda. Tomorrow we will again. So try to realize. You can remember and chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna With the tears. Oh, what is this stage of Krishna and Jasoda Maya? Always thinking, oh my dear child, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. In this way you should try to lament and feeling separation and chant Hare Krishna. You should remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
ओ बी मर्सीफुल टू मी ओ पंच तत्व बी मर्सीफुल टू ओ नित्यानंद प्रभु दैट दैट पास्ट टाइम्स वी कैन रियलाइज एंड वी कैन चैन लाइक दिस एंड वी कैन फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड वेयर इज वर्ल्ड हु एम आई ट्राई टू फॉरगेट ऑल देन कृष्ण विल कम एंड ही कैन वॉश योर टीयर्स इज सो मर्सीफुल so you should chant and number and this and going this and this is the process to remember all the past times in such a way when you are reading oh this is simple <coughs> for this swami ji can he was so merciful he wanted to make huh eh, qualified like this but he saw that there are so many other desires A jungle, so many things. So he began to cut there. He wanted to make it fertile, but he left something for me. How I can serve? <coughs> so for his service, he left me and told that you should go and now you should tell now. Among them, some are so so much qualified. If they will hear, they will be certainly some qualified for this thing. and that is why i can nothing to gain no money no prestige not quarreling with anyone not to make any disciple if anyone taking these views all are disciple bako vegam manusha krodha vegam jiva devam darupas etan vigan ja vishahe tadhir sarva amapi maam prithvi se is actually jagat Like Swami Ji was Jagat Guru, His Guru Dev was Jagat Guru, Vishwa Guru, Three World He was Guru, and Rupa Goswami. So we or we are so much fortunate to be in this line. Try to remember this thing. Your all the Navras and all the others are not so much dear than like this. They cannot help. So you can help them. You can nourish and support, but don't be entangled. You can do your some duty, but always think like this and try to develop your Krishna consciousness. Go, Prema. Jai Jai Radha Raman Hari. with indra and if we break it now he may become angry is he god but god never becomes angry yes yes krishna but we should <laughs> still perform this ritual sacrifice this part of our tradition actually 
Rain doesn't even come from India. Giriraj Mountain is so high that the clouds cannot go past. So when the clouds hit Govardhan, then rain comes down. Therefore, my dear Baba, I request you to begin a sacrifice which will satisfy Govardhan Hill and let us have nothing to do with Indra. My dear boy, since you are asking, I will arrange a separate sacrifice to worship Govardhan Hill. No. But for now, let me continue this sacrifice, which is known as Indra Yagna. No, no, Baba, please don't delay. The sacrifice you propose for Govardhan Hill will take much time. <coughs> Better to take the paraphernalia meant to perform Indra Yagya and immediately engage it to satisfy Govardhan Hill. All right, Krishna, I accept. How shall this sacrifice be performed? Prepare all varieties of foodstuffs from the grains and ghee collected for the sacrifice. Prepare rice, dal, and sabji, and halava makoras and puris. Prepare all kinds of milk preparations like kheer, sweet balls, rasgullas, and ladus. <laughs> then present all the offerings to Govardhan Hill, and after he is taken, distribute the Mahaprasad to everyone. This is my idea, O oh Father, and you may carry it out if it appeals to you. Such a sacrifice will be very dear to the cows, the Brahmins, Sri Govardhan Hill, and also to me. Let us begin at once. When Nanda and the Rajvasis heard Krishna's statement, they accepted his words as proper. The Brajvasis then did all that Krishna had suggested. And using the paraphernalia that had been intended for Indra's sacrifice, they presented their offerings to Sri Giriraj Govardhan.
the Vrajbasis, having thus been inspired by Krishna to properly worship Govardhan Hill, returned back to their home. for shelter. Krishna, Krishna, oh most fortunate one, please deliver the cows from the wrath of Indra. My dear Krishna, you are so merciful to your devotees. Please save us also. This demigod, who thinks himself supreme, has shown his great power, but now I will according to my position. He is maddened by false prestige, but now I will break his pride. I will protect my pure devotees of Vrindavan, who are completely under Oh my dear son, 
You are in such a dangerous position. What can I do for you? Each time I try to call an instruction to you, my voice becomes choked with anxiety. Oh, Krishna, my Krishna. Oh, coward men, please. Please try to help him. <laughs> hey, Giriyash, stay where you are. Do not be heavy for our Shamasu, otherwise we will curse you. Nantabhava most certainly has worshipped Lord Narayan. Therefore the Lord has now entered the body of Krishna and is holding up the hill. Bye. <laughs> My dear friend, you have been standing there for the last seven days and nights without any rest. All of us think that you are trying to do something that is just too hard for you to do. We don't think that you should have to stand there anymore. Holding this heavy mountain, you should transfer the hill to the Sudan. If you are afraid that Sudan cannot support the hill, then at least switch hands. Transfer the hill from your left hand to your right hand, and then we will give your left hand a massage. Oh no! I've made a terrible mistake! What are these happenings here? Krishna is no ordinary human being. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Oh, what should I do? Stop this storming immediately! Oh, the rain has stopped. Oh, the clouds have cleared. Look, the sun is rising. Krishna has saved us all. Shri Krishna Govardhan Dharaki! After collecting their cows and possessions, the cowherd men went out from under the hill. The women, children, and elderly persons gradually followed them. While all living creatures looked on, Sri Krishna, the master of all mystics, put down the hill in its original place just as it had stood before. In the heavens, all the devas, including the siddhas and kandarvas and charanas, sang the praises of Lord Krishna and showered down flowers in great satisfaction. Sri Krishna then went to the place where before he had been tending his cows. King Indra was very ashamed of having offended Krishna. Approaching him in a solitary place, Indra fell down and lay his helmet, whose effulgence was as brilliant as the sun, upon the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. My dear Lord, you are the father and the spiritual master of this entire universe. Even fools like me, who think themselves universal lords, quickly give up their conceit when they see that you are fearless even in the face of time. Engrossed in pride over my ruling power, I have offended you. My dear Lord, please, please forgive me. My intelligence was bewildered. Please, never again allow my consciousness to become so impure. O oh Lord, you descend to this world to destroy all the demons who burden it. And at the same time, you act for the welfare of those who faithfully serve your lotus feet. My dear Lord, due to my gross ignorance, I have created a great disturbance within Vrindavan by sending torrents of rain and heavy hailstorms. Oh, I acted out of severe anger by your stopping the sacrifice meant to satisfy me. My dear Lord, you are so kind, so merciful, that you have destroyed all my false pride. I therefore humbly surrender unto your lotus feet. My dear Indra, I have stopped your sacrifice just to show my causeless mercy and to revive your memory 
that I am your eternal master. I am not only your master, but I am the master of all the other demigods as well. You should always remember that all your material opulence is due to my mercy. Now go back to Indraloka and always remember that you are not the Supreme Lord, but are subordinate to the Supreme. You should execute my order and remain the King of Heaven, but be very careful of false pride. <coughs> After this, the transcendental Sarabi cow, who had accompanied Indra to see Krishna, began offering sweet prayers and worshipping you. King Indra, along with the Sarabi cows and all the other demigods, worshipped Krishna by bathing him with Ganga water and the milk of the Sarabi cows. Thus Govinda was pleased with all of them. After satisfying Krishna, who is the lord of all the cows, and who is known as Giridhari, the lifter of Govardhan Hill, King Indra took permission to return to his heavenly kingdom. Mero Radha Ramana Giridhari Giridhari Shama Banavari Mero Radha Ramana Giridhari Drama play It remembered us the pastimes of that Krishna who lifted Govardhan and set all the go and all Prajivasis. If anyone is serving so many demigods only for benefit, worldly benefits, they may have some false ego like Indra, Brahma, like others, but actually they are not giving the fruits. Krishna gives all the fruits. So why not surrendering to Krishna? <coughs> Giriraj is not anything else. Himself Krishna and the servant of Krishna both. But we will take benefit more if we think that Krishna is servant of Krishna. Giriraj. Giriraj, huh? Giriraj is the servant of Krishna. If Krishna, he cannot give so much thing, but is, he is like a servant, he can give the love and affection for ashray. Huh? Above. Uh, he can give the love and affection in the guidance of gopis, he may give. But for Krishna, it is very hard. Because Govardhan is also a part of a manifestation of Radhika also, not only Krishna. Though he was in, in Chaturbhuj, but really he is a servant eh? and he can give everything to anyone. Paramatha Madana Leela Kunda Kandare Kandare Te Rachyati Nama Junu Tanda Mashmen Namandam Itikli Kalnartha Klak Nakasta Dayur Mei Nija Nikat Nivasam Dehi Go Vardhanam all the very secret pastimes of Krishna with gopis and especially with gopis. Oh, very beautiful kunjas, tamal kunja, hmm? malati kunja, so many kunjas are there. Where tricky Krishna and gopis hmm? are da making dance to Krishna, hmm? they are in the kunjas. So, secret things that Govardhan is witness for this. And he can sprinkle his mercy to be like that, like Govis. There are Govardhan, Radha Kund, Shyam Kund, Jamuna, Lalita Vishakha, Rupmanjariya. Only they are qualified to be. Sometimes they give some authority to Gopishwar Mahadev. He can contribute. Hmm? Prinda Devi and Yogamaya is uh, fully expert to give these things. That is why we shall Yogamaya, also Brinda Devi, um, Giraj Govardhan, best servant of Giraj, uh, like Haridas Varja, and Radha Kund, Shyam Kund, Giraj Govardhan and Jamuna. 
they can give this thing. Otherwise, anyone cannot give this. So this thing that shows that if you are serving Giriraj Govardhan, he is also witness like Jatraiva Krishna Vishubhanu Putra Danang Grihetum Kalahan Bitene Sutesh Vihajat Mahatta Tashi Govardhanu Me Dishatam Mavishta. Krishna was taking Dan from Gopis and Gopis was acquiring and they also took tax from Krishna also. They collected tax. And Krishna was bound to give. So there are so many things the witness is Govardhan. Tomorrow we will worship Govardhan Giriraj with so many preparations and we will remain and worship Giriraj Govardhan. By this, Govardhan will be merciful to us, to sprinkle that we may sometimes be the maid servant of Srimati Radhika. Gaur Brahman.